Stewarding Global Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 327. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 327, June 30th, 2019 edition. Uh, One Community's goal is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And that ties in really beautifully to what I want to talk about today, which is stewarding global sustainability. Like humanity has the ability to be conscious and conscientious stewards of our planet. We know what it takes to take care of the ecosystems surrounding us, to rebuild our oceans, to rebuild our forests, to build sustainably, to live sustainably, to eat food without poison, to breathe air that isn't toxic, and to keep our waters and streams clean and healthy, to keep our bodies clean and healthy as a consequence of all of these things. And so one community and everything you see happening in the background of the video here, I say that every single week, everything you see happening in the background here is about stewarding global sustainability. It's about giving people the tools and resources and do-it-yourself instructions, whatever they need to build self-sustainable, self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as one way to steward global sustainability. And it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, everything we're doing is open source and free shared. So the people that aren't interested in stewarding global sustainability can just do that for whatever reason they want to. If people just want to build a survival community, or if they just want to live off grid, or maybe somebody just wants to start a garden or build themselves a sustainable guest house, or maybe they just like to live in an environment that's not toxic, that's all fine. That is what our open source tools and resources and blueprints are for as well. But the ultimate expression of one community is really about stewarding global sustainability by creating a global network, a global cooperative of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together, demonstrating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. Putting this all together to create and demonstrate a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now, because people have more free time to do the things that they want. It eliminates the financial stresses of life, it brings everything, brings people's uh, local community, their friends and family together with them, if that's what they want, to be able to live within community. And it takes the entire recreational experience and, sur and brings it in-house. It surrounds you with that. And so the One Community model is meant to demonstrate a place of living that has more, more things to do and more time to do them all at your fingertips, all within walking distance. So people can have more fun, demonstrate that they're having more fun, live healthier, live more holistically, live in integrity with every moment and every decision that they're doing, and it's most in our expression of it. I mean, that is our focus, and it's not, it doesn't have to be that way. Again, like I said, it's all open source and free shared because not everybody's into glo stewarding global sustain sustainability. But for those that are, I'm having a hard time saying that today, but for those that are, we're creating a place for people to do that, a place for people to come together, work together, people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet to come together and create a way to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime within one generation, within our lifetime. And so we've designed seven different sustainable village models to accomplish this. Accomplish this. We've got open source food uh, templates and, and designs as well. We're addressing highest good education models, the highest good economic models, how to start a nonprofit organization or to operate what we're creating as a for-profit operation. Everything that's necessary. We'll be running a large-scale skip kitchen capable of feeding 200 people at a time. We will teach people what it takes to do that, to get that permitted, to maintain that restaurant as an example. Teach people what it takes to set up a temporary kitchen to feed 50 people in a remote off-grid location. Everything that's needed for that, the menus and everything related to that, all the food that you would need to buy, how you would build that structure and how you would maintain that structure all the aspects and so all these different pieces all these different pieces all these different uh, elements are designed to be implemented as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration model 
so that people can build a self-sustainable eco-village that will allow them to quit their job, run that eco-village like, like a bed and breakfast, generate enough revenue to continue to support themselves, their families, their friends, and to continue to expand indefinitely, which is what our purpose is, to be able to expand and contribute to the highest good of all life on this planet, open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, indefinitely, forever, and to steward global sustainability with our peers, with other people that are interested in living and working cooperatively and collaboratively to create a better world for everybody as well, a world that truly works for everyone. And we know that if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, show the people the way of life, show us living in a way that most people would consider to be better than the way they're living right now, then the idea will spread on its own. And that begins the process, the self-replicating process that can expand within 30 years and touch the lives of every single person on this planet and create something where anybody, anybody who wants to live this way can. That's what we're up to. This is what we're doing and this is how we want to create world change. So with that said, here is one week of our all volunteer, 100% unpaid nonprofits team. We're a non-governmental organization. We're a nonprofit organization. We're all volunteers creating this pathway to stewarding global sustainability for anybody. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team used the Murphy bed assembly instructions to test build the benches and a table again in 3D. Only a couple fixes were needed this time. You can see some of this work here. And Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her fourth week researching the most sustainable insulation options. This week, she emailed companies again about the outstanding questions related to the insulation products being evaluated, finalized details for the generic wool and straw insulation, and wrote the first parts of the article covering aircrete. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 164 working on the Earth Big Village. This week he researched stair and window codes and updated those areas to fit the new south wall. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 47th week helping with Earth Big Village renders. This week he finished work on the people, plant, and texture updates to this final view of the Earth Bag Village looking northeast. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 57th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was integrating last week's feedback on the storage and changing areas shown here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, measured all the floor areas in AutoCAD and created the initial cost analysis for these areas in the Duplical City Center cost spreadsheet. Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his sixth week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week, he further revised the swimming pool details, social dome loft and main door details, laundry room details, and central pool and front area furniture. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his eighth week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum Certification and City Center Open Source HVAC Design Tutorial. This week, he modeled the refrigeration systems and began creation of HVAC system model. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 14th week helping with the duplicate city center structural details. This week's focus was adding 3D surfaces to the social dome triangles and testing them in SAP 2000. You can see some of this work here. Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, also completed her 19th and final week as a researcher. This week, she finished the why and detailed introductions for the upcoming Most Sustainable Hand Dryer Options page. You can see her work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. 
This week, the core team continued with week 15 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we added and tested initial formatting and anchor links, edited and created and added a new dam summary image and the image from last week. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued working on the redesign of the Ultimate Classroom. This week, we added ceilings and lights and produced the new set of renders shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, created version one of our communications procedure and manager user functionality of the Highest Good Network software. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating a model for stewarding global sustainability, an open source, free shared, do-it-yourself template and prototype as we build one community for demonstrating a way of life that we think that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, visit our written blog, visit our website. There are hundreds and hundreds of pages of content that we've created outlining everything that we're doing as we continue to develop all this. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, uh, join us on social media, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video. That makes a big difference. Every little bit makes a difference. Uh, but join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on Instagram. We are on uh, LinkedIn, we're on about Twitter and about 15 other social media networks to make this as easy as possible. So wherever you like to social media, we are probably there. And if you'd like to help out in a super easy way, like our posts, help us share our posts, get the word out, get it in the hands of more people, help us to tell people what it is that we're doing and uh, how we're making a difference in the world. And of course, uh, if you'd like to donate, well, like I said, we're 100% volunteer team. So every dollar of every donation goes towards forwarding our open source goals, it doesn't go to paychecks for me or anybody else on the team, uh, mainly goes to website expenses and we're doing a push right now to really uh, to be able to upgrade our servers to a private server so we can improve our website speed and stability uh, so if you'd like to donate to us that's always a great way to help out if you've emailed us if you've commented on our videos all that stuff makes a difference every little bit just watching to the end also makes a difference believe it or not it actually helps our YouTube algorithm so if you watch our whole video from beginning to end that makes a big difference as well and we thank you for that and um, yeah, thanks for supporting whatever way works best for you. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.